Okay, so far we've connected to the database and we've performed a basic query. We haven't actually got anything out of that query yet because we haven't sort of translated it into a PHP array. So that's what we're going to crack on with now. We're going to take, as I said before, um, PHP arrays are a bit like short-term memory and MySQL is a bit like long-term memory if you want to think of it in those ways. Um, and what we want to do is we want to take the, the MySQL information that we've taken out and we've sort of bundled up into this res object here. And we want to unbundle that and extract it out into a PHP array. And what we do in order to do that is we use something called a, a function called MySQLi fetch, fetch array. And you perform that on res there, um, and that sort of unbundles it. And in order to do that, we need to also specify what the array will be. So we'll call that array pupil array. So MySQLi fetch array, it's taken that res and it's sort of unpacked it and it's going to convert it into a normal MySQL array um, and then we can just say we might as well print our uh, pupil array there just to print it out save that in fact I'm going to put a break on the end of that there just to make it a bit more readable save that refresh and there you go this is this is a bit like a conventional um, PHP array, except it's it's two arrays combined into one. You remember, I, if in the earlier tutorials, I explained how you've got two types of arrays. You've got numerically indexed arrays, and you've got associative arrays. And in, in fact, what uh, MySQL I fetch what this has done is it's it's combined the two sort of into one. So you've got zero one, you've got pupil ID one, you've got um, one Henry pupil name, you've got pupil name Henry, um, and you've got um, one Henry. So the, the the you've got the numerically indexed arrays there, and you've got the um, you've got the associative arrays there. Um, and in fact, you, there's a variation on this, which is MySQL I fetch a soc a soc if you want to call it that, um, which turns it into an associative array only. The the MySQL I fetch array that's two two types of array combined into one. Um, you could use MySQL I fetch a soc. And there's another function which turns it into numerically indexed arrays. But for the moment, we just want to re-deal with associative arrays, keep things nice and simple. Um, and we've got the the, the, the MySQL I associative array there. Now, as we saw earlier, what we can do is we can unpick this this array and we can turn it into um, actual variables itself. And we can then take those variables and start outputting them. Um, so what, what this has just basically done the first line. So what we want to do is we want to get it to loop through all the different things and then um, actually output all the different lines within our our little our little table that we've got here. Um, so while dump 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 we can do that there. Um, and to start off with I'm just going to keep it simple and say um, print our pupil array and see what comes out here. Actually, I'll say print our pupil array, and then for the purposes of readability, echo br, and put a break in there. This will be interesting. There we go. Pupil ID. So we got uh, it's basically looped through, and it's come up. This this MySQL I fetch associate has come up with an associated array for each line, back within our database. But we're getting there, and we're sort of translating it from the MySQL from the SQL, and we're translating, beginning to translate it into um into PHP. So what we could do is we can now actually take each element of that array and we can sort of start putting them into individual variables. So um, to start off with we're just going to have a variable for pupil ID and what we can do is say pupil array and now to reference each element we can have pupil, pupil ID there and this is just stuff that we've done before. So what we're doing is we're taking the elements of the arrays and we're putting them into actual individual um, individual variables. Uh, so we can take that, and then we can we can echo out. Yeah, let's echo out. Uh, we'll do a bit of text and say pupil pu pupil id, and then convert back into and just have pupil. ID there. So what we've done is we've we've converted it into an array. Then we've taken a single element of the array, put it into a variable, and now we're just going to output the variable itself. We don't need that quotation mark there, um, and that should work. 
So there we go, pupil ID, six there. Um, obviously, it's looped through each time. Um, now we can do the same sort of thing for all the other ones. So we've got pupil ID. Um, we also want one for pupil name. So this is just text here, pupil name. Um, and then we can specify, well, we need, we need to convert them into variables here. So it'll be pupil, pupil name equals pupil, pupil array, pupil name there, then pupil um, dob equals pupil array pupil dob that these are just sort of conventions by the way you once again you can call variables anything you like but it just makes sense to call the, the variable the same as its corresponding element within that array so we've taken elements of the array packed it into these variables here and now we're just going to combine this with a bit of text to make it a little bit more readable so we've got pupil name pupil name there and the last one was date of birth um, and pupil pupil dob um, and then we're just going to put a break in the end there like that um, and that should make sense. So just to recap, we've done piece my MySQL fetch associ to turn it into an associative array. We've then gone through the associative array, put that into variables, we've then taken the variables and we've combined that with some, some basic text. That's the static text. These are the variables and we're looping through using this while loop. And just to make it a bit more readable, we're going to take out that print R bit there. And just to make it a little bit more readable too, we can... What was that? That was a delete. Nope. Date of birth. What I want to do is, once again, it doesn't really matter what order you put things in, as long as you 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 stay consistent and lay things out like that. Um, but that should make sense. Just save that there, and hey presto, it comes out quite nice. Well, relatively nice and neatly. We could convert these and do other stuff, but that's a little bit more advanced than we're doing at the moment. At the moment, that's just a demonstration of how you can take MySQL data um, and turn it, stick it into an, a PHP array. Then you can loop through the array, take out individual elements and put them into variables and then start doing the variables there. And it looks kind of cumbersome, but if you think through things logically, it, ma it makes sense of you're just translating from one state into another state into another state and you're sort of bundling things up and you're, you're picking things out. So as long as you, you, you sit down and think about things logically, um, and carry out those steps. Um, you can extract MySQL data and turn it into PHP arrays and then turn those arrays into variables um, and create dynamic pages with PHP that use the, um, the long-term memory, if you want to call it that, of, of MySQL.